Hey, 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 Titans. This is Captain Yeet here for you for another Teen Titans episode review. This is going to be episode 12, titled... <laughs> it was upside down. <laughs> I did not notice that. My bad. Uh, this is going to be episode 12, titled Apprentice, part 2. So, this episode starts off with the theme song. And the theme song is the English version. I think this is the first time that we had a theme song be at the very, that <laughs> be at the very beginning. Unless episode one, but I can't remember. Anyway, after the theme song, we cut to all of the Titans looking at Robin. And they're really shocked to see Robin in a Slade outfit and stealing something. I don't know what he stole in this moment. Oh, no. He, th he stole the Thermal Blast. That's what he stole. <laughs> I forget. Robin just stole... The thermal blaster. All of the Titans are looking really sunk to see him stealing, especially Beast Boy. <laughs> look, look at Beast Boy's face. That man is pretty sunk to see Robin stealing. Anyway, they're like, Robin, what are you doing? Robin doesn't say anything. And then Slade has a little earpiece in Robin's ear. And he goes, don't say anything to them. They're not your friends anymore. So Robin tries to back away. Starfire. Well, it's confused. So we see Robin. At first, he... Throws like a battering thing. And then you see Starfire and Starbolt come out. And then they collide and then they shoot. I mean, they collide and they explode. And everybody is knocked back. And then Robin, he shoots the brig that they're on. So they really can't follow him. Well, I guess Starfire and Raven could. But they got blown back. So they couldn't really do anything. Because uh, I, I guess it was confusing. Because we didn't see Starfire shoot a Starbolt. We just see Robin back away. And then you just throw that, and then everybody gets blown back, and you see like a little little green dot. So that has to be the star bolt from Starfire, but okay. <laughs> I was really confused. We cut back over to Robin meeting up with Slade. Slade goes, hey, that was some excellent work. You really proving yourself for being my pupil. Robin's really mad. He's saying this deal, it can't last forever. He goes, oh, why can't it? Of course it will. You just keep doing what I need you to do. I don't have to kill your friends. Everybody wins. And then Robin gives him what he just stole. Slade like puts it together and it's a gun. And he puts it on Robin's wrist. And then he tells Robin that well, yeah, he just keeps taunting Robin that he can kill his friends at any time. Robin is really mad. He tries to punk Slade. And Robin goes, you know, yeah, sooner or later your guard is gonna let down. And that moment I'm gonna steal that device. He goes, Oh no, it's not. Then he tries to punk Slade and Slade catches his fist. And bends his arm to the side. And he's holding Robin in like a chokehold. He goes, Robin, you know I was reading like your vital signs while you were stealing that thing for me. Your heart was pumping. Your, adren your adrenaline was going. You're not going to admit it. But you were having somewhat fun stealing that thing for me. You you were kind of excited doing that. You're going to keep stealing for me. You keep getting that feeling. And sooner or later, you'll appreciate it. And you'll do it f for fun. Then we cut to the very next scene, and it's the Titans trying to figure out what the heck is going on with Robin. Beast Boy has two ideas, and they're not really good. His first idea is, well, Robin is a robot, and he gets switched out. His second idea is, well, maybe Robin got zombified and got bit by a zombie. Obviously, the other Titans aren't really going along with this idea because it's kind of stupid. But Cyborg does say that he checks Robin, like he scanned him. And he checked his vital signs. That's the real Robin. That's not a duplicate. And if he was being mind controlled, Raven says that she would be able to like sense it. Like if it was a spell mind controlling him or something, she'd be able to like sense that. But she didn't. So that's the real Robin. And he's doing this on his own for listen. And then the Starfire, she's the only one that's really sad about it. Because you know Starfire. And Robin, she goes, no. That can't be Robin. Robin is our friend. He'll never do anything to hurt us. He'll never steal anything. Cyborg's a little sorry. I'm sorry, Star. That was Robin. And you like it or not, he's been stealing. So we're going to have to treat him like a criminal. And you know what the criminals... I mean, and you know what the Teen Titans do to criminals. We got to lock him up. And Starfire just looks down really sad. It's a little less he's finna cry. And then we cut to the very next scene. And the very next scene is, well, Robin, he's stealing something else. Well, there was... I mean, we don't just cut to it. Beast Boy does get, like, an alert on, like, the Titans computer that it's him. And then we cut to Robin trying to steal something else, but then all the Titans just pop out of nowhere, and Cyborg goes, look, you're not stealing that. We're about to fight. So Robin rushes towards everybody, jumps on Cyborg's back, jumps onto the roof, and then he like kicks the roof, and there's like a little air vent. He busts through that, and he's on like the official roof of the building at the end, and you didn't get to see it before, 
But this building that they're on is Wayne Enterprise. <laughs> it's Wayne. <laughs> that is really cool. That is really dope. Um, oh, but this mess up the flow. Eh, not really. So, um, quick side note before I continue. Quick side note. Um, while Slade was building the gun for Robin and was taunting him and saying how, you know, yada, yada. Uh, right before we cut over to the Titans trying to figure out what's going on with Robin, Slade says, hey, sooner or later, you might even think of me as your father. And then Robin goes, I already have a father. And then the camera pans up. You see like a few bats flying in the air and the music starts to swell. And then we cut to the Titans talking about what's going on with Robin. That was a dope scene. I sort of said that earlier. Cause that, that, was, that was a really nice scene. That was really nice. But anyway, uh, Robin's on the roof of this building. And all the Titans appear on the roof. And they go, Robin, we just want to talk. We don't want to fight. Just talk to us, Robin. What's going on with you? And it slays in his ear. They're not your friends anymore. Fight. Fight with all you got. Robin goes, I can't. It's too heavily guarded. I have to come back. He goes, no. Fight now. So Robin starts to fight everybody. <laughs> it's it's kind of funny because uh, Cyborg says he doesn't want to fight. And Robin jumps up in the air and kicks him in the chest. He goes flying. Beast Boy goes, okay, I guess we're not talking. He turns into a gorilla. He starts to chase Robin because you're on the top of this building like those huge glowing letters. So Robin jumps on top of the A. Beast Boy climbs up to chase him. Robin swoops out his grappling hook, wraps it around Beast Boy's arm, and pulls him through like the hole in like a capital A. And he gets stuck in there. He's a gorilla. He's too big. So he, he gets stuck inside of the A. Then he drops down and he starts to fight Raven. And Starfire fights off to the side. He's telling everybody to stop fighting. So he doesn't want to fight Robin. So Raven and Robin start to fight. Raven's just making like um, shields and stuff and like combat fighting him instead of using like actual stuff. <laughs> you know, so the, instead of using actual magic. I mean, I mean, she's using magic to make the barriers and stuff. But still, it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> you're, not, you're not really doing any magic magic. You know, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, Raven sees so using barriers and stuff to block Robin's punches. Eventually, Beast Boy is able to turn into a snake and he's able to get out of the A. Then he turns into a ram and hits Robin. He goes flying, nearly falls off the building, but then he gets back up and Slade keeps telling him to fight and use the thermal blaster, that gun he has on his wrist now. Robin doesn't really want to use it because it's a pretty powerful gun. So Robin takes out, well not take out, but he like slams everybody, Beast Boy, Cyborg, and Raven. Then he jumps on top of the W, and then Starfire pops up there too, and seeks charging up a Starbolt. And Robin charges up his Thermal Blaster, and then Starfire goes, look, Robin, you are my most dearest friend. I don't know what's going on with you, but I just cannot bring myself to fight you. So CD powers, and Robin goes, Starfire, no, I can't. He goes, what are you doing, Slade? What are you doing? I told you to fight. If you're not going to fight them, I guess I will. And he presses the button, and all those little nanites start to attack all the Titans' blood cells. And it's kind of a cool animation to where we see all the Titans turn, like, not translucent, but they turn orange, and you see, like, all their blood cells. Like, I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you. And when he, when Slade presses the button, he um, this is what they look like when all the nanites attack their blood cells. They turn orange, and there's like a bunch of red dots inside of them. This is what they look like when the nanites are attacking them. So all the titans fall to the ground because these nanites are attacking the blood cells, and they can't move anymore, and they're just screaming in pain. And then Robin's like, no, Slade, I'm sorry, stop, don't kill them. He goes, well, Robin, like I told you, fight. Fight with all you got. So Starfire, she falls, and Robin catches her. And then Slade unclicks the button, and they turn back to normal. And Starfire is like, what? He goes, I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude, I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened here. I honestly don't know. Because we see Robin point the thermal blaster at Starfire and say, I'm sorry. And sucks it at her. And in the very next scene, Starfire wakes up. Look, boom. And in the very next scene, Starfire wakes up. And I'm like, um, so did he hit her or not? Because Slay was, you know, Slay doesn't play. So unless you hit her, I don't know. I mean, Starfire is pretty strong. She could probably tank it, but uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> anyway, after that, everybody regroups. And then Robin 
comes down off of the W and just grabs Beast Boy, throws him in the Raven, grabs the, uh, Cyborg, slams him, and then just runs away from Starfire and starts to shoot the Thermal Blaster like crazy. Then eventually Raven does a pretty cool Azeroth Mentor Zentos move where she makes like this little tornado air current thing go towards Robin, grab him, lift him in place, and break the Thermal Blaster so he can't use that anymore. It's, it's pretty powerful. <laughs> it's pretty powerful. Look, he comes down, grabs Ray, boom, just slams him like, jeez, and he runs away from Starfire. He does not touch or hit Starfire. And like I said, Raven does a pretty cool Azeroth Mentor Zentos move where she makes like a little air current thingy and it comes up after this, but I think I'm still on the screen for too long. And is it right here? No, it's not right here. Poop. <laughs> I wanted to show it because it looked really cool. <laughs> it, looked, it looked dope. But I don't think I can uh, show it right here. Uh, actually, I can pause so I don't waste too much time. Okay, I uh, mixed up the scenes. <laughs> so Raven does this before the whole Starfire thing. She does this. And then you saw her break the Thermal Blaster. Anyway, like you see here, um, Raven, she does the Azeroth, Mithril, and Zenthos move, grabs Robin in place. Robin throws an explosive to throw her off. That's that's what happens. This was like the cool air tunnel move I was talking about. <laughs> and then he throws that bomb to throw Raven off. This happens right before the Starfire thing. I uh, I mixed those two scenes up. <laughs> I mixed those. Well, I haven't mixed them up. I just put them in the wrong order. <laughs> I put those scenes in the completely wrong order. Uh, anyway, uh, after Robin slams everybody and he get he just he disappears. He throws a smoke bomb and he vanishes. And then the very next scene, it's Slate. And <laughs> Woo! This was pretty funny. So Slade is in his like little man cave and he's talking into his wrist into like some sort of a tape recorder. He goes, Robin is improving really nicely. He's doing really well at my apprentice. But it seems he needs a little bit of uh, motivation. And then Robin comes out of nowhere, grabs his hand. He goes, motivate this. And just punches him. And then we just cut. <laughs> we just cut to the next scene. Motivate this. Boom. <laughs> I was like, gee. Okay. It was commercial. So he punches him. But, you know, after the next scene, Robin not doing too well. Because Slade was able to catch his fist and throw him off to the side. And then Slade and Robin start fighting. Basically, you know, basically for Slade, it's like a sparring match to teach Robin some discipline. But Robin, he's taking this 100% seriously. And then we cut to the next scene with the Titans figuring out what Slade did to them. Because, you know, they were really confused of what that whole thing was Robin did. They knew the Thermal Blaster, but when they were, like, crying on the ground, they're like, how did Robin learn how to do that? Starfire goes, I don't think that was Robin. I think that was Slade. And they go over to the tower... And then Cyborg to hook the Beast Boy up to this machine. And he can see all like the little nanites inside of him. He goes, oh, those things are inside of all of us. Slade did that somehow. So that's why Robin doing what he's doing. If he doesn't do what Slade does, I mean, tell him to do, he's going to kill us. Man, you're in a tight pickle. Then we cut back over to Robin versus Slade. It's basically, you know, regular Robin versus Slade. But it's pretty cool. There's some cool scenes in here cool too. Because Slade was saying, like, Robin, you're doing pretty well. Better than last time. But you still got a few more years to train before you even pose a threat to me. It was really nice because Robin, he breaks this lever. to use it as a bow staff. Slade brings out his own bow staff. They start fighting. And Slade breaks something. So a bunch of steam comes out and Robin hits him. And then Slade just disappears. Robin's like, what the heck? And then Slade comes out of nowhere to hit him. And he just hits him and he goes flying. And there was another moment where there was, like, this huge... Not a crane. It's, I don't know. It's like, it's like, it's like, it looks like, like a giant clock. Anyway, it's like this giant metal thing swaying side to side. And Slade is standing in front of it. So, you know, you see Slade. You see Slade. You don't see Slade. Probably like, what the heck? And Slade comes to the side. Boom! I was like, jeez. I felt bad for bro. I would have been... I would have been so mad. Because <laughs> he just keeps disappearing. And then just coming out of nowhere. Hitting me. And Slade, he's a decently built guy. I mean, he, he's more built than Robin in this series. So, Robin looks, I mean, he's a lot He's a lot stronger than he looks. But, you know, he looks kind of scrawny. And Slade is a grown man, decently built. <laughs> Slade is decently built. This is a scene I was talking about with the smoke. He hits Slade. 
but that slate disappears. He's like, what the heck? The slate just kind of comes out of nowhere. <laughs> he just keeps doing that. And then that's the thing I was talking about. I don't know what it's called, but it just keeps swaying side to side. So you see Slade, you don't see Slade. What the boom? Jeez, <laughs> jeez, man, I feel bad for Robin. Anyway, they keep on fighting. Slade goes to punch Robin, and then Robin dodges it, and Slade dents the metal, and then Robin's able to do a backflip and kick Slade in the face. Then he kicks Slade. He kicks Slade in the face twice. He does a backflip, kick him in the face, and then that like knocks him off balance. And then Robin kicks him in the face again, and Slade goes flying down to the ground, and he gets up. And his mask is cracked. And then Slade sees that. He goes, you're going to wish you didn't do that. Robin goes, I'm going to wish I did it sooner. Then he rips the Slade logo off of his chest. And he starts fighting Slade again. I'm like, okay. <laughs> They're going all out. <laughs> they, my boy's going all out here. Anyway, Slade goes, you know what? If these friends are so much of a distraction to you, maybe you don't need them at all. And he goes to press the button. He goes, no, please. I'll do anything. Just don't. Slade goes, there you go. And from now on, I want you to call me master. And he goes to, I think he was going to hit Robin. He goes to do something to Robin, probably to hit him. But out of nowhere, Starfire sucks, Cyborg, Cyborg, Starfire sucks Slade, and Slade goes flying. I was like, what the? And he looks to the side, and it's all the Titans, and Starfire goes, leave him alone. Ah, <laughs> that was nice. I really liked that scene. Obviously, Robin, he's freaking out. He goes, you guys got to get out of here. Go. You don't know. Cyborg goes, no. We know what he did to us. And we don't care. You're our friend. And we're going to fight with you. That was nice. That was a really nice scene. What Starfire said and what, Star and what Cyborg said. You get two really cool team shots of the Titans right here. Where Starfire said, leave him alone. And then we get another really cool team shot where Cyborg was like, yeah, we know what Slade did to us. But we don't really care. We're here to fight with you. And Robin, you know, he was panicking, telling them to leave. And here's the other really cool team shot. This was nice. <laughs> this was nice. Anyway, obviously, they still have those nanites inside of them. So, they don't really get to fight too much. Slade presses the button. They all fall to the ground. And they just start crying and, you know, screaming in pain. And Robin sees this. And Slade goes, so, Robin, what you gonna do? You gonna let them die? Or are you gonna fight? And then when Slade presses the button, this is the vice off to the side that's like powering up the button that's making them, you know, fall to the ground. Like basically, this is a vice off to the side that's activating the nanites and that gives you the nanites. So Slade, I mean, that's Slade Robin. He runs over to that device, grabs it. The nanites go into him and then he's starting to get affected by the nanites since he pressed the button. So Robin goes, okay, here's the new deal. <laughs> you know, here's, here's the new plan. If you kill my friends, you're going to kill your apprentice too. And I know how much you hate to lose. <laughs> that was cool. So Robin, obviously, he won because Slade doesn't want to kill Robin. He still wants him as his apprentice. So Slade rips off the device and breaks it. And so now they can't die anymore. So all the Titans jump Slade. <laughs> all the Titans jump Slade. Beast Boy turned into a tiger. Slade goes to kick Robin. Robin catches his fist, throws him in the air, and all the Titans attack him. Boom! Tiger right there. Cyborg blasts him, same with uh, Starfire. He goes up in the air. Raven grabs his foot, slams him to the ground, and then Robin, he gets a really good kick in. And he's actually able to crack his whole mask. Not all the way, but it's halfway. It's so where you can somewhat see Slade's face, but not really. <laughs> not really. Um... After that, Slade activates something, and it basically destroys this whole building at the end. This whole building just crumbles. So Robin, everybody, like, grab each other. They run out. Robin goes, okay, gang, let's go. No, <laughs> not gang, but he goes, okay, guys, let's go home. And they all return to the Titans Tower. Really nice. It was, like, a really quick shot of a kind of a cool team shot, which uh, I got to, like, really pause it to get it well. I'm going to have to pause it again to, like, get it. Because it, it takes a... Oh, I didn't even notice my TV was still on the shot. <laughs> I did not notice that. Uh, let me see. Oh, no, no, no. It's right here. I need to pause it. <laughs> I thought I had to pause it. I thought it was going to take too long. Here we go. Here's the, here's the team that I was talking about. Why do y'all jump slate? 
Anyway, after that, they all returned to the Titanus Tower. Cyborg is able to make some sort of device to get all the Namax out of them, and all really happy. Raven goes, um, guys, we uh, kind of kick Slade's butt. Shouldn't we celebrate or something? And they all look at Raven like, what? Okay, let's do it. So they grab Raven, well, Cyborg and Beast Boy. They grab Raven and they run over to the kitchen. And they're going to have a big breakfast balooza. So they just kick Slade's butt. Starfire sticks down next to Robin. And she says that she's really sorry. Robin's like, you're sorry? Why are you sorry? She goes, for a moment there, I kind of thought that you became Slade. I doubted that you went to the bad side and there was no helping you. And I'm sorry for doubting you. Robin goes, no. I mean, you were kind of right. I kind of see how me and Slade are a lot alike. And I hate to admit it. But, hey, there's one big difference me and Slade don't have. Slade doesn't have any friends. And he smiles and he looks at Raven. And then <laughs> the very last like few seconds before we get the credits is Cyborg and Beast Boy arguing. Because Beast Boy wants to make tofu waffles. Obviously, Cyborg doesn't want to eat tofu waffles. And he goes, pack me the soy milk. You're not getting the soy milk if I'm cooking waffles. <laughs> and then Cyborg goes, wait a second. Is there any meat in tofu waffles? Of course there's not. But you're not getting tofu. <laughs> then you're not cooking, Beast Boy. <laughs> I'm not letting you cook. <laughs> I'm not letting you cook if you're just going to make tofu again. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> and Raven sits just off to the side looking really annoyed. Yeah, it's just off to the side, looking really mad. Anyway, this is what Raven looks like. <laughs> he does not look happy because <laughs> they just keep arguing. I mean, hey, I, I wouldn't want no tofu or anything. Like, well, I never tried it, but I don't, I don't, I don't know if it's gonna taste too good. Yeah, yeah, probably not. I don't know. And this was the shortest episode in the whole, uh, not the whole series, but this whole season so far. And we only have one episode left. Car Trouble, episode 13. Then we move on to season two. And there's five seasons. I did not know that. I thought there was only four. But there's five seasons. <laughs> Wild. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, I guess that's it. So, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you all later. I thank you all for watching. I thank you all there for being wonderful human beings. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. All right.